hello guys welcome to a new video and in this new video i'm going to show you guys how to um add the cisco asa the cisco firewall into um eve ng and also i'm going to show you how to tell the um, that asa image to open with tonet instead of vnc so let's go ahead and start with that and the first thing I need to have is you, of course, need to have EVNG um, installed, and you also need to have it have it. You need to have it up and running, like I have it right now, and it is at IP address 192.168.0.33. That is the IP address where is where is that? And you also need to have um, Fauzilla or Win SCP installed in your computer, so you can upload the image into the EVNG. Um, image and you also need to have a way to turn it or to SSH into even G either with putty if you have a Windows device or just straight from the tone it if you have a Linux machine like I do so let's go ahead and start the first thing that we want to do is we want to open Fauzilla and from Fauzilla what we are going to be doing is we need to remote in or to yep we need to Go ahead and go into 192.168.0.33 Username is root, password is eve, port 22 Always trust, trust, connect We are going to go back, we are going to go into OPT Unit lab, add-ons And we are going to go over here So when we are in here, what we need to do is we need to upload the image And I have my image in my desktop I believe this is my desktop yep this one is right here so I'm going to go ahead and upload it and while that is uploading I'm going to go and SSH into this um, I'm going to SSH into even G and the way that you do it from the Linux terminal is you do SSH and then you put the username of it and then you do the at sign and then you put the host name there we go say yes Password is Eve. Good. So from here, what you want to do is you want to navigate into the location where the image is. So you need to go into CD, OPT, Unit Lab, Add-ons, and then I believe it is um, QEMU. And if you do a LS to list, you can see that I'm uploading that folder right there. So it is still not done yet. Also, um, like I said before, if you don't have a Linux device, um, what you need to do is you need to install Putty or whatever, um, or something like Putty so you can um, SSH into even G. And all I'm waiting right now is for my folder to be uploaded into the even G um, image right now. As you can see, say it is saying that it has two minutes left. So uh, I'm going to just pause this video for a little bit until it's done, and then we can resume our video. And you can see now, guys, it is done uploading my image. So now what I want to do is I want to go into my telnet, and I want to go into that CD ASA, um, and we're going to go into that folder. You can do a list to see what you have over here. And you can see that I have my image over here. So what I want to do now, um, since I have uploaded it already, what I want to do now is um, I want to run the following the following commands to enable um, Telnet access instead of VNC access, because I don't want to use VNC. I want to use Telnet whenever I open um, the ASA. So let's first do an apt get update. And let's run that. Takes a couple seconds, shouldn't take that long. There we go. Then what we are going to do is we are going to do a uh, apt get install. And we want to install the lib guest fs tools. It is already installed. So if some of you don't have it, you can just go ahead and install it. Um, after that is done 
what we are going to do is we are going to run that machine so we're going to do a um, guest fish negative a vert and then we're going to run that image that I uploaded then we do a run And what that is going to do is it's just going to um, run it as you can see it looked like it did run it hopefully it did and then we are going to mount dev sda2 after that is done we are going to do a touch and we are going to tell it to use tty um, zero zero then we are going to unmount And then we are going to exit. There we go. And then after that, we are going to just um, go ahead and clean and fix the permission. So we are going to do OBT unit lab um, wrappers UNL wrapper negative A. Let's make this bigger so you guys can see the entire command. Fix permissions. And there we go checking online and everything is good so after that is done we should be able to run the asa uh, from the um tonnet so now let's go ahead and go into the even g we are going to log in admin password is eve now we are going to add an object a node and here, here it is, the Cisco ASAV. And that looks good. Save it. Now we have the ASA over here. Let's go ahead and start this bad boy. It's already up and running. Let's go ahead and double click on it. And it's saying that it is unreachable. If this persists, so it doesn't let me... Let's go ahead and log out. Edit. Default. Let's see if I have everything in here. Turn it, let's see. Then try just with VNC. See if that works. Start. And there it is. So I was able to launch the ASA now. So it looks like for, for Telnet, it's not working right now. So I'm going to just go ahead and fix that on another video. But here it is how you add um, or import an ASA fire, Cisco firewall into EVNG. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, why don't you just go ahead and follow me on Twitter at TCNA Daily Tips. Also, subscribe to my channel and like this video. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one guys. Bye bye.